Vincent, we on Lex were born nowhere and never leave the office, so we are beyond politics as ever. But a um, few oil companies are sniffing around those islands that we here call the Falklands, and yeah. there's been a development there today. Yes, there has. <coughs> um, there's a, a several of fairly small exploration companies are very busy down around the Falkland Islands um, because the Falklands government has given them licenses to explore in the waters around the islands. And today, what happened was that a, an American company called Noble Energy has farmed into a license that's, that's um, owned by a company called Falkland Oil and Gas. Um, they're paying a bit of money up front to, um, to Falkland Oil and Gas for, for the license. But mainly, I think the deal isn't very big, but it's quite significant in that it signals that so Noble's big, huge, right? And these players. Falkland players Noble, are very Noble's small. a very big company. Bigger players are willing to come in at this stage to sort of give a bit of heft to the exploration effort. And is it just financial backing at this stage? <coughs> is there any sort of technology or expertise? There? Well, uh, it's more than financial backing in Noble's case because they're going to become the operator of some of these, no. of some of the fields within this license area. Um, so they're bringing technology, they're bringing expertise, they're bringing a lot more um, financial <coughs> capability to it. and. Uh, I think from that point of view it's significant. And it's significant as well in what it says about you know, how seriously other companies are taking this, uh, this area. And a lot of people think the whole thing's a bit of a joke really, it's a long way away, <coughs> it's very, very deep, it's very rough, there's no refinery anywhere near it. Um, how viable is, is the Falklands? Do oh, you know? I think it's as viable as anywhere else. I mean, uh, you know, there isn't any oil refinery, or wasn't anywhere, within screaming distance of the North Sea when the, uh, when, when the oil was found there. I think that the, par the, the similarities with the North Sea are actually quite strong. Um, it's kind of the same size, it's the same kind of um, potential uh, in terms of at least what people think might be there. <coughs> um, and it's, you know, it's difficult to, to explore because it's wild frontier terrain. Um, but, you know, companies can get oil from anywhere and they can bring it anywhere they want. Sure. But in this particular case, you've got Christina Kirchner in Argentina right nearby who said it's frankly illegal as far as her government is concerned. What's the risk there, do you think? Well, I think there's a lot of risk there, actually. This is the big risk for anybody exploring in the waters around the Falkland Islands. Obviously, there's the whole dispute between Britain and Argentina over the who owns them and the sovereignty of the islands. Um, the Argentinian government has said that, that um, exploration in the Falklands waters is illegal and that it's ready to sue and it has written to the London Stock Exchange you know saying this is what we're doing and and just beware of this and make sure that companies make this public <coughs> and I guess to which the companies could say well you know everybody is aware of these problems anyway so so you know investors looking to get into these companies know very well that this is the Big, so given the political risk. risk and the, you know, the, the long-term nature, what's your recommendation for investors in companies like Rock Opera and so on? Oh, I think there's a lot of potential there. You know, I mean, this is very expensive exploration and uh, it's going to cost a lot of money and you know, it's going to be a long time before there's a, any kind of sense of what the proper reserves are in this area, if indeed they exist there. Um, so if, you're, if you want your investment risky but potentially of high, very high reward, I'd say this is it. Well, I'm sure we're going to hear, be hearing a lot more from that part of the world. Thank you very much, Vincent.